Hey everyone, this is Martin from howtomakemobilegames.com on July the 11th, 2016, Monday here in Shanghai, China. This video is about how to find long tail keywords for your games or your apps on Google Play. So for those of you who don't know or maybe haven't uh, dipped into this side of ASO, App Store Optimization, uh, finding keywords or long tail keywords is uh, a good way to get more downloads because what it allows you to do is find those keywords that maybe don't have a lot of competition, uh, don't have a lot of results, and therefore your a particular app or game would be ranked higher you know, than if it was, say, a popular uh, search term or search result. For example, like Angry Birds, I always say that one, but Angry Birds is like, in Google Play, has 250 results, which is the maximum number of results. So for your game or app to actually reach high enough in the top 10 to be visible is really hard. So one of the techniques that a lot of um, ASO uh, marketing people do is to find long tail keywords. Now those are keyword phrases that would be longer than one or two words. So it wouldn't just be a single game name. It might be something that is more a little bit descriptive. So, but uh, you know, on our side, one of the things that we try to do or um, have, have tried to do this past few years is be able to catch some of those search terms that don't have a lot of competition. Uh, that takes a lot of time and effort because, for example, in Google Play, what you have to do in order to find the uh, particular uh, keywords that don't have a lot of searches is, for example, something like this. So I'll just I'll just pull this up here quickly and I'll show you guys. So this is Google Play. This is the website version, obviously, but it's pretty much the same thing on the mobile as well. Uh, in fact, it is the same thing. So what you do is, for example, like this you type in a all right this is what we call a tier one search or maybe just us maybe just our company i don't know but we call it a tier one search and that basically means that if you type one letter in the search bar it gives you a bunch of suggestions here so as you can see there's angry birds amazon apps agario or however you pronounce that and anime games okay these are the most popular searches in google play for a okay because it's one letter. If you type two letters, like uh, let's say AB, for example, these are tier two searches, which are not as popular as the tier one searches, okay? If you can rank high for a tier one search, you're probably doing really well, uh, unless it's a search which is very, very obscure, which might be, well, there isn't. Tier one, there might not be very many uh, obscure searches, but uh, you know what I mean? The higher that you rank in those tier one searches or tier two or tier three, or any search, the more downloads you can get. The challenge now on Google Play and any app store is to find those searches which are relevant to your game and also don't have too much competition so that you can start to rank, try to rank high. Um, I haven't read any specific results, but uh, for example, if you were in the top 10 of a search uh, result, then you're far more likely to get downloaded. Anything below say 10 to 15, uh, especially for a specific search, like a specific game search, you're very unlikely to get downloads from, okay? So it's really important to try and find those searches which are uh, uh, very related to your Apple game, don't have a lot of competition, and are quite high tier searches or popular searches is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, what as I was saying, the, the normal method of how we would find keywords is we'd go like this, oh, A, uh, no, okay, or B, all right, C, no, D, no, E, and we'll basically go through the searches like this. Once we've done all the tier ones, that's A to Z, then we'll start looking at the tier two, which is two letters, okay? So for example, B, A, uh, okay, I'm looking for something that's related to my game in here. Oh, let's try uh, uh, Beat the Boss, for example. Um, all right, Beat the Boss, let's try this one. Now, the problem is with Beat the Boss, if you go down here, is there are tons of results. I know that when the show more button at the bottom appears here, that is a huge amount of results, okay? So it's really uh, gonna be very competitive, very hard to rank high for, unless my game is already getting some good downloads, okay? So it's important to, yeah, go in for the popular results, uh, the popular searches that your game might be trying to rank for. Uh, for example, I think S shooting games, there you go. So yeah, having these very, very popular search terms, but then also finding the ones that are not as popular, that have lower, uh, a lower number of competition. 
So as I'd be continuing the process anyway, as I was saying, is we'd go through like CA, okay, CE, no, there's nothing there that we want, okay, CI, basically going through all the alphabet, uh, and then eventually, hopefully, finding something which might match the type of game that we have. Uh, see you. Uh, let's say okay. My game is like my game has got cupcakes in it, for example. Then I click on cupcakes, and then I'd wait for the results to appear. Okay, and then I'd count the number of results. And if it was too many, then I would either say no, this is too competitive, or I'd say yeah, okay, it's more of a generic search, and I can include the word cupcake in the game anyway. So fine, whatever, we'll just include it. But I don't expect to rank high for this specific search. It is super competitive. So I'll continue to go on. And this is quite a long process, guys, and it's been the process that uh, a lot of marketing people have had to do. And we recently have tried to find a way to make that process a little bit more automated, which is why we've come up with this keyword tool that we're now working on, okay? Um, and this keyword tool is designed to automate that entire process, okay, of going through A, B, C, D, all of the tier one, and then B, A, B, E, B, I, B, O, all the tier two, tier threes, or even the, the full keywords as well. Let's say, for example, like, uh, my game is a jumping game, for example. You can do jumping A. All right, there's some results. Jumping B, uh, okay, jumping C. And you try to find some search which you can use. So let's say jumping dash. Oh, that my game is about running and jumping. Jumping dash is a good search. But check it out, jumping dash, tons of results. And I already know it's got tons of results just from the words because uh, I've been you know, working in the app stores long enough now to know which search terms are really popular. So it is a long process, it is a long process. And that's what we're trying to do here with this new tool that we are, uh, that we're now developing and finding an automated uh, way to do that process to save time. So I'll give you a quick example here. So this is very early on, by the way, guys, this is very sort of like alpha, beta kind of stage. Okay, so the visuals of this, of what you're seeing right now, uh, will change eventually. Uh, but let's say if I just type in the letter A, fetch simple. Okay, uh, the A, because it's only one search, should appear quite quickly. Uh, uh, if it does take a little bit longer, I will pause the video and then come back to it. But as you can see, what it's produced is the suggested searches for the letter A. And now what it's doing on this competition column here is it's showing the number of competition results. So there you go, 63 plus, 79 plus. Way too many results for me to, uh, to compete with. Now, uh, and it will go down all of this list here and it will show, it will actually count the number of competition. Uh, this saves a lot of time, basically, because it allows us to uh, quickly see the search, search suggestions and the competition count, which is really important because it doesn't matter if there's a good keyword suggestion from Google or iOS or wherever, if it's got a million results, okay? So that's a big...